Hi guys, just going to do a quick demonstration of uh, how to do the motorway track in BanLab. Um, so yeah, so we'll, obviously we'll need to begin with a, a new project on BanLab. So just log in and create a new project. And then we'll need to get a few files from the shared drive. Okay, so if you go to the portal and click documents, we'll be able to go up here and then we'll go shared work. Uh, music department uh, and then resources BTEC music tech year one unit 32 uh, and then motorway sequence and here are all of your all the things you'll need okay so you can listen to it here all right so just play audio whatever you want to do all right All right, so that's quite handy if you wanted to just hear what it should sound like. We have the instructions here as well. So just view that. Uh, and these will also help you if you get stuck or anything. Um, but yeah, cool. Uh, obviously, I'm just going to basically go through these instructions today. So, you know, um, you can just watch this video and then that, as long as you follow what I'm doing, then you'll be fine. Uh, so, let's just read this. So says Pro Tools, obviously we're not using Pro Tools, we're using Logic, so just ignore that. Sorry, we're using BandLab rather. Um, so, set the tempo to 110 BPM. Okay, let's uh, so change that up here. Just type in oh, 110. Okay, what's next? Uh, okay. So all of these, all the sounds that I'm using, you don't have to use the exact ones, it's just whatever works for you it's fine um let's see do i have to make a choice as to the octave that okay that's fine all the instrumental parts not drums are white keys only okay that makes it a bit easier so if you're using any black keys then you know you've gone wrong um let's just read through this again so you should program everything as it is in the first score then compose two more instrumental lines in keeping with the style um, and arrange this piece over 32 bars um, okay cool so let's get going so to begin with we have a muted guitar okay so let's just get that up so if we just uh, in a new track we'll go down here to guitar and we'll just go, let's say funk guitar. That sounds cool. Um, so that is there. So it's an F, I believe. Um, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, let's program that in. So region, double click to get in the region. And then just control click. Oh, that's kind of a weird sound actually. Right, let's choose a different one. Let's go let's go jazz guitar maybe. Okay, that'll do. Okay, there you go. So So as you can see, it's one, two, three, it's three semitones below C four. Alright, so we go here, so one, two, three, that's the same here. Okay, um so so these are quavers or eighth notes. So there'll be eight of these per bar. One thing we need to remember. Let's turn the snap on. View snap to grid sort of just turns off just for no reason seemingly uh, so you just need to make sure that it's all on the grid and just turn these notes okay so that's that's it for the guitar for the time being at least um, we just want that quarter note repeated um, repeated note um, playing throughout. So we'll just leave that there for now. We then have a tambourine. 
Okay, so let's get that in. Uh, add track instruments. Let's go here. Let's go percussion, see what that's got. Uh, in Tanzania. Uh, let's see. Drum kit, maybe. Okay, let's create a new MIDI region in this new track here. Let's go electric drum kit. So one thing that's worth noting, I think, is it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, the exact instrument that is stated. That, to be honest with you, sounds like a tambourine. I think that is a tambourine. We'll just go with that. So that's drum pads, electro pop kit, number six. So we'll just, uh, there you go, there it is. So we'll use that. Um, tambourine. Um, so this just plays on the offbeat, all right? So we want that on the two and four of each bar, okay? So you see 1.2, 1.4. We want it on the 2.2, 2.4. That's fine. So it goes. That's what you should be hearing so far, okay? Uh, now we'll make a another track. Uh, drums. So what we want is a sort of 80s sounding big studio drums, as you can see here. Um, just a very simple uh, kick and snare snare pattern. Okay, so it should be nice and easy. Uh, let's create region. Um, I'm just going to add instrument, and let's just get. Let's let's have a listen to the track. See 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 what the example sounds like. Okay, so it's kind of electronicy. So we could go could go for an electronic kit. Yeah, so like a drum pad or something could be good. Um, techno throwback. Let's see what this. Okay, that that'll do for now. Um, okay, so just make sure that they're all on on the beat, on the 1 and the 1.3, or the 2 or 2.3, or whatever, so just on the 1 and the 3rd beat, okay, so what you should hear now is this. Sorry, uh, I was a bit slow. Sorry, on the one and the two beat, rather. My bad. Um, so it should be kick on the one, snare on the two, kick on the three, snare on the four. Okay, so like this. 
Okay, that's what you should hear by now. There you go. Cool. Um, what now? Uh, and now we have an organ. Okay, uh, so let's create a new track. Let's go organ. So let's go instruments. Uh, organ. There we go. Let's go rock organ for now. That sounds fine. Uh, create MIDI MIDI region. Uh, tell you what I might do actually. I'm just going to sort of cut these down to where they should be. All right. So there should be just one bar for the time being at least. So let's just make sure these are cut down to that. Make sure your snap is on when you do this yeah so that it snaps onto the bar so you're not slightly off okay so just make sure that this is green there's a little green tick here um, when you do that okay so to recap that's what we should hear so let's try and get the organ going uh, so the organ is spread across four bars so what we'll do with the other stuff so we've got your guitar your tambourine and your drums what we'll do is we'll just copy and paste these. Okay, so we'll just highlight these, copy and paste over four bars. Okay, that's fine. Because we are going to need to, um, uh, we're gonna need four bars to do this organ. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. So you can see here we're at C6, three notes below got sort of like a triad chord there so let's just give that a try so we've got so for me that's uh, that's way too high so I'm gonna go an octave lower okay and just make sure you drag out these notes so they're right to the end um, I think that should be it uh, let's just double check though Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we have. And then we want it to stop where it says two. Okay, at the second bar. And then we put our next uh, chord in. So you can see again here, you can sort of see where it is on the keyboard and just see where it relates on this keyboard. And that's how you'll sort of find out where you're supposed to put the notes. Um, These two will be the same, so that makes that a bit easier. Um, okay, so that's fine. Then the next chord. That's fine. Oh, no, that was not it. Not quite, so. Okay, so let's just listen. Okay, right. That's fine. And then the last chord here is back to the original, I believe. So if you want, you could just copy and paste this and just put it at the end here like that. Okay, so let's listen to that, see what it sounds like. Okay, that sounds about right. Let's just make sure that's right. Um, okay, I think that's it.
one note was incorrect there. My apologies. So that last note was. That's it. There you go. That sounds right. Um, cool. So let's move on to the next one. So we've got bass. Uh, okay. So this is a four bar loop on a smooth bass sound. So let's add a new track. Instruments, piano, bass. There we go. P bass. That should be fine. Create instrument. Uh, this is a one bar thing. So we can just go straight in here. He was just playing the root notes in a crotchet quaver quaver pattern. All right, so let's just put that in. Uh, oops, um. So I think it will go something like this. Okay, so it'll basically, do you know what, let's just drag it out actually. Basically be, you can drag, co you can copy paste this because it's the same rhythm. Okay, so we start here, on this note, we go up here. And then we copy this for the, oops, sorry, copy this for the third bar. Okay, that sounds right. Okay, so we just have, it's basically just this little um, thing, that um, little riff sort of rope, uh, repeated. Okay, so we have one bar here, we have it on bar two, then bar three, then bar four. Okay, so you can just sort of see these notes here, copy them in, and that should be all fine. Uh, what is next? We have jazz guitar. Okay, that's fine. Let's give that a try. Add track, instruments, uh, instruments, yeah. So we'll go to guitars. Let's go to, we'll just go to jazz guitar again. Um, create region. Okay, cool. So let's focus. Okay, so we'll start off on that C note. Um, that's fine for. Okay, so we just start off on the first beat where it says one, and that's where the first note is. The second note is where it says one, three, and the third note is one note above, or two semitones above that, in between the three and the four. Okay, so if, if we listen to it, it should sound like this. Okay, and then it's this, again the same rhythmic pattern, so we can just copy and paste this if you like to make things easier. We can see where it should be. Okay, so we go up here, and um, and we can copy that pattern. However, you will notice that this has to come down a semitone. Okay, there's a bigger gap here than there is here. So let's just make sure we get that right. Let's just bring that down. Okay, so so that's what it should sound like. Um. Let's see what the next one is. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So. Okay, so we can copy and paste that again. 
or rewrite it out. Completely up to you, as long as you get the notes in. Uh, we come down here to just below where it says C4. Um, okay. And we just change it so that the note drops down by two semitones at the end. So it should sound like this. Okay, and then I know that the last bit goes, it starts here. Okay, so that is good. So let's listen to that now with that guitar in. Okay, so that's what you should have by now, more or less. Okay, it doesn't have to be you know, the sounds don't necessarily have to be exactly the same, um, but the notes should sound like that, basically. The drum beat should sound like that. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, if you're following along, then I'm sure I will do. Uh, yeah, let's create a new instrument and add this bass lead. Um, Okay, so this is a more aggressive lead sound. And the notes are placed within the two and the four beats of the bar. Okay, cool. So let's give that a try. Instruments, let's go bass. So last time the 62p bass was fine because that's quite a smooth sound, but we wanted a little bit more of an aggressive sound now. So let's just go funky slap. That sounds like it's gonna have a bit more, yeah got a bit more bite to it nice cool let's try it uh, okay so let's just let's just try and get in the habit of listening to this original track as well So that sounds about right. Uh, let's see this bass. Um, okay, cool. Let's open it up. Let's check what note we want. Okay. Okay, so we're using this bass funky slap. Uh, and if we go into the MIDI editor, you can see that right at the top here we've got C4. This is the top of the range. Um, thinking it could be kind of cool to have a slightly higher one. You don't have to, you can go. Maybe go there actually. Maybe go just under C3. This is supposed to be a bass, yeah? So um, that's fine. So just make sure the first note is on the two beat and then the second note is on the four beat. Uh, and then the last note is in between the two, uh, the, the four beat and the second bar. Okay, so it should sound like this. All right. Um, so let's do the next one. So the next one is this, so. Okay, that's fine. And then the next bar is. Okay, um, so let's just program in this last bar four here. Okay, 
you want, you can copy and paste it again, up to you. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, so you should have something that sounds like that. Uh, and that is basically it really. Um, that's more or less it. So that's the sort of foundation of the song done. Um, however, um, it says you should program everything as it is on the score first. Okay, so we've done that, that's great. Then compose two more instrumental lines in keeping with the style. Okay, so just compose two more lines. It can be a synth line, whatever, but we'll do that. And then arrange a piece over 32 bars with an ending, with an intro and ending section. Um, and that is cool. So, I want it to be 32 bars long. So what I'm going to do, it's currently four bars long. Okay, so let's just copy and paste it so that it takes up 32 bars. Okay, so let's just copy and paste. There we go. And we'll drag it over here. And then you got 32 bars. Okay, um, so to begin with, what you want to do over this 32 bars is you want to have some sort of um, intro sort of build and then an outro where it maybe fades down a bit. Okay. So this means that you might want to take out some parts during the intro and then maybe take out a couple parts at the outro as well. Okay. So this middle bit is maybe the, the interesting sort of, you know, you put all your instruments in there and it's all great. And then at the outro and the intro, you have less instruments going on, okay? So let's say at the start. Okay, that's cool. So what I think I'm gonna do you can do this if you like, you can do something slightly different if you want, it's up to you. But um, I've just taken out the first bar of organ and the first two bars of that additional bass, right? So that it has a bit more of a build. So let's just listen to what that sounds like. Okay, so you can hear how that builds. Okay, it's quite nice. Um, and so what I then do is at the next bar, so let's say bar 13, you could then add in your two instrumental lines here or one of your instrumental lines here. Okay. So if we go add track and then instruments. Uh, let's just say we want to add a synth line. All right, so we'll go synth keys or tell you what, let's go synth, synth leads. Um, yeah, go on funky clav why not uh, nice one uh, let's do that and then let's create a region here let's create our own melody all right that's all you need to do is create your own melody um, hopefully this sounds right uh, one thing to remember is you your melody will be fine all right if it is in time and you don't use the black keys Okay, you just want to use the white keys, all right? So let's give that a try, shall we? So we go here, so that's highlighted. So I'm just going to create some random melody.
که به دو سرمت شد Okay, fine. Let's let's just stick with this. Okay, so something like that, that's about right for your improvised line. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm just going to copy and paste that to there. Okay, again, make sure that your snap is on when you do that so that it's in time. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to copy and paste a couple more lines of that actually. Um, and then I'm going to add a new track, okay, because we need two instrument uh, new lines. So we go here. Let's say we want another synth lead. Uh, vapor lead. Let's give that a go. Vapor lead. Interesting. All right. So, again, we're thinking about it as a bit of a song here. Okay, we've got 32 bars to play with. We got the intro. We got the intro at the start. Um, and then it builds up with the organ. And then we've got the bass coming in. And then we've got our lead and then we want to give it a, another couple of bars before your second lead comes in maybe um maybe let's wait until bar 21 and we'll put our second lead in okay so this is just slightly different let's go in here again make another lead another lead to, oh. okay that's a bit too bassy it's a bit crazy Heavy lead. How about that? That's all right. Okay, that's cool. So let's just copy and paste that just for the time being. You can just, you can make a slightly better one maybe and just have it changed, but I'm just gonna copy and paste it just so I don't bore you to death with making extra melodies. Um, but let's just drag that there. Okay, so now we have a nice build. Okay, so if we look at that as a track, it comes in, it starts off here. We're missing a few things. We're missing the organ, we're missing the extra bass. The organ then comes in, we've got the bass that comes in, the our first original lead line comes in, and then our second original lead line comes in for the sort of big, you know, everything's in at this point, and then for the last bit, maybe we just have. Okay, and then maybe at the end, it comes down, back down to a last little bit of outro and that is and that is that okay so so that's basically how you do it okay you start off by making these individual instruments okay the foundation of the song and you can then arrange it how you like 
if you want to just follow on and done more or less do more or less exactly what I did that's completely fine um, uh, yeah and that is all cool so I hope that, that was helpful um, yeah good luck with it all let us know if you've got any questions thank you all